Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Bianca Janelle. I make videos on lifestyle. I do skincare videos, makeup hauls, clothing hauls. I vlog, but today we are doing a makeup look on this look right here. I believe it's number four in my makeup holiday series. I'll leave the playlist above for you guys. And I love the way it came out. I use ColourPop's Blue Moon Palette. I think it's very holiday appropriate, very winter wonderland slash frozen. I think you guys get my vibe so if you guys want to see how I got this look then please keep watching okay guys we are back with another holiday look I believe this is look number four in this series I am just cranking them out I have been so inspired by makeup last tutorial I'll link above for you guys I used the just my luck palette by Colourpop it was filled with shades of green it was just so beautiful so today I decided to use ColourPop's Blue Moon Palette right here. You can see it just has these beautiful blue shades. And I was just so inspired and ready to play with them. I normally don't go for cool tones. Um, this is totally out of my comfort zone. But I'm just excited to tap into this palette. When I think of blue, I think of like a winter wonderland or like a New Year's look. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. I never do if you watch my tutorials. I kind of just start winging it. But I'm super excited to play with these. So let's get into it. So, of course, we are going to prep our skin. Taking my Glow Recipe Lip Pop. And then I'm going to take my Summer Fridays Lip Balm. I'm going double on the moisture because my lips are so dry. Next, I'm taking my Ulay Hendrickson Eye Banana Bright Eye Cream. And then today, I'm going to be using my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. It's a really lightweight moisturizer. It lays really nicely under makeup. Okay, first, we're going to start off with brows. I'm just taking my LA Girl Pro lip, lip, eye pencil. Okay, now that we have eyebrows done, we are going to start prepping our eyes for shadow. So I'm just going to take my Tarte Shape Tape and applying this as a base. And then just set my eyes. I'm taking the Airspun Loose Powder and I'm just going to set them. As you can see, it just creates a nice even base on both sides and both eyes match. Really just press that into the concealer. Okay, so we're going to start dipping into the palette. I think I'm going to take the shade Moonlight right here. And I'm going to start buffing that into my crease. That's really pigmented. Okay, you can see that we have a really good base on both eyes. They pretty much evenly mount and I went a little higher above the crease this is just going to give more space to work with now I think I'm going to take the color starry eye right here and really ooh that's pigmented whoa careful <laughs> I'm going to start buffing that back into the crease too just going to kind of give it more of a pop of blue I feel like And it's okay if it falls down a bit onto your lid. I'm going to cover the lid with shimmer anyway, so it's okay. All right, we are going for it with the blue today. Next, I next I'm going to take. I think this color right here is so pretty. It's like this silver blue shade. It's called Billy Jean. And I'm going to just start to pack that onto the lid. Ooh, that's so pretty. This is definitely more winter wonderland type of look. It's more of a frosted look. It's normally not something at all I would go for. But I'm totally digging this. Wow. That's a really pretty. That's so pretty. Honestly, you could even just stop here and pop on eyelashes if you just wanted more of a lighter look. 
I think this is really beautiful. I think this is so holiday appropriate. I really like it. I'm going to go in deeper because I can't help myself. But honestly, you could stop right here. And I think that would be a beautiful look. But I can't help myself. I am going to go in deeper. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to... I'm going to take this color Lumi and I'm going to pop this into the inner corner right here just to give myself a little bit more light into the look. Okay, like I said, I can't have myself. I'm going to go a little bit darker. So I'm going to take this color actually first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start deepening it up with this color clued in. And I'm going to take this on the outer corner and start buffing this into the crease. This is just going to deepen it because I want to take this color Mad About You and actually blend the two shimmers together. But I feel like I should go in first with this cute in and just kind of start darkening it up on the edge. It does look a little crazy right now, but once we go in with that mad about you color it's going to really bring everything together so i'm going to take it and i'm going to start packaging this on as well you can see it starts like deepening it up a bit to me this is a little bit more wearable righty i really like this so I feel like we just need to go in and kind of blend a bit more. So I'm going to take, again, take that dark shade of blue and just start blending it in. Okay. Just because I'm curious, I love using my fingers, especially for these like shimmer pigments. I am going to take my finger and pack it on like this. And I feel like it just is a little bit more pigmented when you have your finger and you can really stamp the product into your eye. I really like that. You can see the difference between both eyes. And that was the color mad about you. It was that shimmer shade. And I just press it into my eye. Now what I'm going to do is go back into that first color, Billie Jean. And I'm going to pop this more into the inner corner. Again, just for some dimension. I really like that. That is so, that's so different for me. I'm just going to go in again on the edge and just make sure it's all blended. And again, just use a really light hand. And that's why I like going towards like the end of my brush when I'm grabbing it. And kind of just windshield wiper motions, just go back and forth. So it's all blended. Oh, I like that. So different from what I'm used to. Now, with a baby wipe, or you can even use like micellar water, I'm just going to clean up under my eyes where I feel like a little fallout happened not too much next I'm going to take my NYX eyeliner in the color black and I'm going to tight line my upper lash line I think the black and the blue really complement each other I normally don't go for a black eyeliner but I think to make this look a little bit more dramatic it's necessary next I'm going to prep my lashes for false lashes so I'm just going to Curl them and then I'm going to use my Essence Lash Princess. Okay, while lashes dry, I'm going to put skin for foundation. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. Putty Poreless Primer and I'm just going to focus this in the T zone of my face. And then I'm going to take my Ule Hendrickson Banana Bright Primer and this is going to go on the outside of my face. Next, we are going to apply lashes. I'm just taking the Ardell Remy lashes. I love these lashes. They're so fluffy. I've used them in the last couple of makeup tutorials I've done because I love the drama to them. I love how fluffy they are. 
So I'm just going to pop these on and I'll come right back. If you guys want to see an eyelash tutorial of how I put on eyelashes, I'll link it above for you guys. Okay. Lashes are on. I'm really starting to like this look. Again, I don't go for cool tones, but I'm feeling this look today. So while we let eyelashes set, we are going to move on to foundation. Um, I think today I'm going to be using the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. I'm in the sh no, the shade's way too light for me, but it's okay. We're going to bronze it up a bit. Now I'm going to take my ColourPop No Filter Concealer and conceal. Okay, now that foundation is on and concealer, we are going to contour. So I'm just taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee. And that's what I'm going to use to, to contour. Okay, now we have some warmth back into our face. So now I'm just going to set everything. I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder. I'm going to set everywhere that I didn't contour. And then for bronzer, I'm going to take my Tarte face. What is this called again? Tarte Clay Play Face Sculpting Palette. And take the ter color terracotta and I'm just going to stamp this into everywhere that I contoured. And then for blush, we are going to take Honest Beauty in the color Peony Pink. It is a cream, but it, it applies over... It is a cream, but it does apply over a foundation as well. I've worked with it many times. And it doesn't leave me oily. Usually I don't go for cream blushes. But I just love this one because it just looks really, really natural. Super, super pretty. I love it. You could stop right here if you wanted. Um, but I'm, I just wanted a little bit more pink. So I'm just taking my Tarte Holiday, Holiday Palette and I'm grabbing this pink right here. I'm going to leave the shade down below. It's just not redone so I don't know what it's called. But I will leave a link down below. And you can see this just gives it more of a pink flush. And I think with the blue that complements it really well. We're probably going to do pink lips. So I think it's going to all tie together really, really beautifully. And then I just blend everything together. Make sure there's no harsh lines. Now I'm going to finish up eyebrows. So again, I'm just going to go with my LA Girl Brow Pencil. And then I'm going to set it with my NYX uh, Eyebrow Mascara. Now I'm going to take my NYX Epic Eyeliner. And I'm just going to trace the top lash line. I am going to make it a little bit thicker. I actually want you to see that I have liner on. Okay, going back into the palette, I'm going to take the color... Moonlight and I'm going to start to drag this down. I'm going to go a bit further on my bottom lash line just because I like the drama. I feel like we're at this point right here we might as well really commit and make it pretty dramatic. But feel free to go however low looks good or feels good to you. We also are going to add bottom mascara, so that's really going to help pop as well. Now, I'm going to take the color Cute In, and I'm just going to keep this on the outer half of my eye. Oh, I lied, I went a little further on this. This is a little past mid-eye. That's okay. Let's make sure we just blend it together. I'm going to go back in with that color Moonlight right here, and just top it. And blend it all together. Now I'm going to go back in with that color Billy Jean. And I'm going to keep this right on the inner corner. I 
it really helps like I really feel like it helps pop we'll add a little bit of highlight in there as well but I really feel like this is gonna make it that frosted look right there by adding that in and now I'm gonna go back in with a color mad about you and just tight line my eyelash line with this alrighty I love how that looks now I'm going to take my Essence Lash Princess Mascara in waterproof and I'm going to do my lashes bottom lashes you can see it really pops against the blue now I'm gonna go back in with my regular lash princess mascara and I'm just going to combine my false lashes with my lashes okay now it's time to go in with highlighter I'm taking my color pop flexitarian highlight and I'm just gonna apply it to my cupid's bow you can see that this highlight is definitely very frosted looking on its own so it's really gonna match this look really well Okay, next I'm going to take my Clinique Intense Blush Lip Liner and lip line my lips. Lip line. Line my lips. Oh my goodness. Next I'm taking the Clinique Chubby Stick in Curvious Caramel. And I like the way that looks already as well, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to top it with ColourPop's Ultra Glossy Lip in the color, I don't know, <laughs> I lost a sticker, so I'll have to link it down below which color this is, I'll just look back in my order history, but I really love this color. Like a, it's like this pinky nude. It's super pretty. Now one more step and we're done, you guys. Okay, now we're going to take our NYX eyeliner. I feel like you can go one of two ways with this look. Either you can do a white eyeliner. The only reason I'm not doing white is because I kind of have like, I feel like it might look a little corpse bride-ish type of look. Um, I want it to be more sultry and just like holiday ready. So I'm going to take my NYX professional makeup retractable eyeliner in black and just intensify the look with the black liner oh yeah that looks intense I like the way that looks but like I said you could either go with white if you feel like that would better complement it if you don't want it so intense or you could even just do nude but I like the black I just feel like that looks way more intense I think it looks super pretty and we're done you guys all right guys this is the final look right here i love it i am not used to playing with cool tones gravit i don't even gravitate towards blue but i love the way that this came out i actually think this is very holiday appropriate it's very winter wonderland slash frozen i think you guys get my vibe so in the comments down below tell me what holiday look you guys want to see next i'm thinking a classic holiday look with a nice bold red lip but I want to know what you guys want to see next so leave it in the comments down below and if you like this video we'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you guys in the next video bye